We stay with issues relating to health. This time around, it's not an issue of strike or labor agitations. It has to do with news making the rounds that some um, antiretroviral drugs that are needed by persons living with HIV, uh, we have been, they have been giving some fake ones, or we have some fake ones also on the market, and this is very likely to impact on them uh, very, very negatively. And to speak to us about this, the, to weigh the veracity of it, whether it's true or it's just an allegation, is a, one man who has also um, monitored the event for some time now and uh, himself uh, has been taking the antiretroviral drugs. We don't know whether he's taking a fake one or not, but he's here to tell us. Uh, we'll be speaking with uh, Raymond Aholu. He's the president, uh, Greater Accra Regional Chairman of the Network of Persons Living with HIV. Raymond Aholu, good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Afternoon. How are you doing? Ah, very good. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, since when did you realize that there are fake ARVs on the market? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, for some few months now, we've been having shortages of antinutrovara in the system. And we have raised a lot of concern to the government, to the stakeholders. And nothing has been done to that. And still there are insufficient of... Uh, uh, anti uh, ARV. So what we have realized is that this particular ARV is in the system and any time our members take it, they react to and they complain a lot about this. How, how, do, you, how do you know it's fake? Yeah, we got to know that it's fake because when they take it, some of them have a reaction. Some of them are complaining bitterly. The way it because those that we have been taking first, we don't have such reactions, we don't have such uh, 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 negative and the, impact. The, uh, where do you get them from? The source, or you can just buy it on the market? No, we don't buy it, uh -huh. we access our drug at the various facilities. Okay, yeah, and this particular one is coming from Kolebu. Yeah, just this Friday, um, one of the ambassadors, HIV ambassador, Reverend John Azuma, went to Kolebu to access his drug, and this particular one was given to him. And he told the pharmacist, they meant, told him that well, he is not going to accept this drug because this drug, the wife has taken it and became a whole lot of uh, issues. What, what kind of reactions do they get when they take it? Yeah, some have swelling faces. Some also complain as if they are intoxicated. They've taken alcoholic mm -hmm. uh, uh, drinks. And some also feel weak for the whole day. They cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. So quickly, then we realize that uh, as we have been complaining about the shortages of the ARV, then they are importing the fake one into the system. Mm. Then I quickly call on NACP director, that is Dr. Isiadu, and he said that he doesn't know how the drug gets into the country. This is what he is telling me. Mm. And I asked him again, Doc, can the drug get into the country without passing through food and drugs board? He said they are still, they are here to investigate. And it could be free donation. So we are afraid. Already we are having... Uh, uh, we, we are positive and uh, we have HIV positive and now they are trying to accumulate our problem okay. but my worry here is we have a company here who is manufactured locally we'll, we'll, come, we'll come to that still okay. on the issue of whether it's fake or not and who is importing it into the country we've been joined on the line by Dr. E.C. Ado uh, with the National AIDS Control Program good afternoon and thank you very much for joining us good afternoon and good afternoon to your audience Great. Um, have you also had complaints that there are fake antiretroviral drugs on the market and uh, that complaint has fallen right on your doorstep that you are importing it into the country? Okay, I think uh, first of all we need to set the record straight. Before you conclude that uh, many medication is fake, mm. you needed to have subjected it to whatever test. But I have to indicate that we received reports of this alleged fake medication right. last week. And then when we received this report, the first thing I did was that I even informed the persons living with HIV, I spoke with the Gitaka executive, one of them, that this is what we have heard. They should monitor it, okay, and provide further information. Whilst we also investigate. Um, we also have reported to the Food and Drugs Authority which usually is responsible, the authority is responsible for investigating any of such medications. And then, um, subsequently, we've gone further to get more information from our service delivery points. 
regarding that particular medication and um, communicated to our service providers that if anybody reports, they should just recall the medications, manage the acute conditions and replace. That is what we do. In the meantime, we work with the pharmacovigilance um, focal persons in facilities to document this because that is what will be used as evidence by the FDA to decide whether um, in in the medication it is fake or not, and then they will issue recommendation regarding that. So these are the steps. This, this is what we've done so far. At this, at this moment, we will state that that particular medication in question, we've identified it to be part of a donation that came into the country, and this was tested in accordance with the protocols of the Ministry of Health guiding donations by the FDA before it was distributed to facilities. Now, our checks confirm that this particular medication meets the WHO Good Manufacturing Practice GMP standards after quality testing. And therefore, at this stage, we will not, uh, we disassociate ourselves or contest any claim whether it is uh, fake or not. So, as far as, as far as we are concerned, uh, you know, anything can happen. There are a lot of factors that can lead to even an otherwise good uh, medication, you know, going bad over the time. So this has to come out through investigation. Right. right. So at this stage, I think it would be wrong for anybody to say it's a fake medication. Right. But, but when, when you got the consignment, which you said was a donation, how did you do the testing? Was it per every bottle or you just picked a few samples and tested no, and then this that one is done by protocol. So the FDA has their own protocol for doing that. They pick, they pick batches and all that. So that's why we leave to the FDA. They do that. And that is what is done for all medication, including the ones that we buy as a country ourselves. So it's isn't, a standard protocol. Isn't that a bit curious? Because if we are unable and we are basing our judgment on protocol, isn't it possible that some fake ones could be uh, added you know, mixed up with the good ones and then, you know, sneaked into the country because the AD, the AD, the Food and Drugs Authority, FDB themselves, have come out to say that there are some fake drugs on the market and some of them probably slipped through their checks. Well, I mean, it, it is the statement, but we know that every now and then people bring in fake medications. It's an attempt to beat the system. All right, and so... That can happen. It's a possibility, and that's why we will investigate. Okay. But I, ha I have to state that, you know, even a good medication, any good medication, paracetamol, all that, people can react to it. That doesn't make it fake. Okay. Okay, there are many factors why people will react to it, either okay. the way they've taken it or not or something. So we need to check that. For us, this is a normal, even our normal medications, we mm. inform people that they could have some potential side effects. All right, so there are categories for saying that something is fake. And there okay. are clear cut you know, statements that you need to make before you come to that conclusion. Okay, we'll and leave that to the authority. They'll need, they need some final word of assurance from you. What, uh, what can you tell them? I want to um, indicate to all persons living with HIV that this is not a problem. Whoever has possession of some of those medications should return it to the facility. Okay. This is what we communicated. If they have the immediate reaction, it will be managed. And it will be okay. replaced for okay. them. And I, I want to assure them that we have good enough quantities of good commodities, quality medications to provide to them. Okay. They should continue to work with us and the service providers. They should cooperate with us to continue to deliver care. For them, all right. We are grateful for your time, Dr. Aisiado. He is with the National AIDS Control Program and uh, has been speaking to us about the uh, news that there are some fake uh, antiretroviral drugs in the country. And wrapping up with you, Raymond, um, he has given an assurance that they are working on it, they are investigating. Does that put to rest or give you some peace at least for now? No, actually, um, I can't believe in these uh, uh, stakeholders and they, you know, they keep on deceiving us Every day. I'm not sure it's an issue of deceit. Maybe clearly they may have some challenges. Yeah. And it's good you've brought it to their attention. Yeah. So but my worry, my worry is that I don't know why the government don't want to buy from our company in Ghana here. Because the reason why I'm saying when there's a stock out, there's a drastically stock out, they fall on that company and get some fuel for us. 
Mm. And when we take the drug, we are yeah, okay, okay with the drug. Okay. All right. Uh, I think this is an issue we will discuss further 